హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ సో ఫోటో సింథసిస్ అనే టాపిక్ సంబంధించి వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ లైట్ రియాక్షన్ అండ్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్స్ సో దీస్ టూ ఆర్ అక్కర్ ఇన్ క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ సో లైట్ రియాక్షన్స్ ఆర్ అక్కర్ ఇన్ థైలకాయిడ్ మెంబ్రెయిన్ థైలకాయిడ్ మెంబ్రెయిన్ రిజల్ట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ లైట్ రియాక్షన్స్ అసిమ్లేటరీ పవర్ ఈజ్ ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఏటీపీ అండ్ ఎన్ ఏడిపి హెచ్ టూ బై యూటిలైజింగ్ దట్ అసిమ్లేటరీ పవర్ plants can prepare food materials in stroma the reactions are called as dark reactions so dark reactions means there is no utilization of light energy directly they utilize energy in the form of acetate assimilatory power that is atp and nadph2 so by utilizing that assimilatory power plants prepare food materials let us discuss about that dark reactions right so so dark reactions these are explained elaborated by kelvin benson kelvin benson and bosham these three scientists elaborated so by utilizing c14 a radio isotope c14 a radio isotope <coughs> so that this cycle also called as c3 cycle so in this cycle in this process there are three main steps are there carboxylation reduction and regeneration carboxylation reduction and regeneration right so main step is carboxylation so in this process co2 co2 molecule combines three molecules of ribulose 15 bisphosphate three molecules of ribulose 15 bisphosphate here ribulose 15 bisphosphate is a 5 carbon compound సో ఇక్కడ రైబ్లోజ్ వన్ ఫైవ్ బిస్పాస్పేట్స్ త్రీ ఉన్నాయి ఈ త్రీ రైబ్లోజ్ వన్ ఫైవ్ బిస్పాస్పేట్స్ త్రీ సిఓ టూ మాలిక్యూల్స్తో కలిసి ఏం చేస్తున్నాయి ఇట్ ఫార్మ్స్ త్రీ పాస్పో గ్లిజరిక్ యాసిడ్ త్రీ పాస్పో గ్లిజరిక్ యాసిడ్ హియర్ పాస్పో గ్లిజరిక్ యాసిడ్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ ఏ త్రీ కార్బన్ కాంపౌండ్ హియర్ సిక్స్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ పాస్పో గ్లిజరిక్ యాసిడ్స్ ఆర్ ఫార్మ్డ్ సో టోటల్ ఎయిటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ కార్బన్స్ సో హియర్ ఫైవ్ కార్బన్ కాంపౌండ్ రైబ్లో వన్ ఫైవ్ బిస్పాస్పేట్ ఇలాంటివి ఎన్నున్నాయి ఇక్కడ త్రీ ఉన్నాయి సో త్రీ ఫైవ్ జా ఫిఫ్టీన్ కార్బన్స్ ఆర్ ప్రెజెంట్ హియర్ త్రీ సిఓ టూ త్రీ కార్బన్ టోటల్ ఎయిటీన్ కార్బన్స్ సో ఇట్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఫస్ట్ స్టేబుల్ కాంపౌండ్ త్రీ పాస్పో గ్లిజరిక్ యాసిడ్ సిక్స్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ సో సిక్స్ త్రీ జా ఎయిటీన్ రైట్ సో త్రీ పాస్పో గ్లిజరిక్ యాసిడ్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ అ ఫస్ట్ స్టేబుల్ కాంపౌండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డార్క్ రియాక్షన్స్ ఆర్ కెల్విన్ సైకిల్ so first stable compound glyceric acid or phospho glyceric acid it contains three carbons so that it is called as c3 cycle c3 cycle it is called as c3 cycle first stable compound is three phospho glyceric acid right so three co2 molecules combines three molecules of ribulose 15 bisphosphate right this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme rubisco rubisco ribulose 15 bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase that is the one of the highest protein present in all entire universe right right in the next step is reduction phase so if first step which is the entity carboxylation carboxylation next step which is reduction so in reduction there are two steps in the first step three phospho glyceric acid undergoes phosphorylation reaction so it the in this process six atps are utilized to form 13 bisphospho glyceric acid 13 bisphospho glyceric acid it means 3 phospho glyceric acid undergoes phosphorylation reaction to form 13 bisphospho glyceric acid in this process six atps are utilized six atps are utilized and this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme phospho glycerokinase the enzyme is phosphoglycerokinase and the next step 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid right undergoes dehydrogenation so to form glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate right in this process it requires 6 nadph by utilizing 6 nadph 13 bisphosphoglyceric acid convert into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate this reaction is 
catalyzed by the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase dehydrogenase right dehydrogenase right so this is about reduction reaction in kelvin cycle right so result of this real reduction six molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates are formed six molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates are formed aithe manaku baaga artham kodaniki 1 2 3 4 5 6 and separate separate ga veskunnam ivanni kada enti glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate simply g3p so in this second fourth and sixth it means three molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates convert into dihydroxy acetone phosphate which is its isomer right so three molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate one two three three molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates undergoes isomerization reaction to form three molecules of dihydroxy acetone phosphate dihydroxy acetone phosphate so g3 pil 6 unnai 6 lo 3 g3 pil emaine glyceraldehyde dihydroxy acetone phosphate ga convert ayipane in these three dihydroxy acetone phosphates one dihydroxy acetone phosphate right migrate towards the cytoplasm it enter into the cytoplasm and convert to convert glucose glucose ga convert ayipothundi right glucose ga convert ayipothundi right the remaining 1 2 3 4 5 the remaining glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates they enter into third step that is regeneration phase regeneration phase aithe ikkada carbohydrates form ayinappudiki kuda idantha enduku jarugutundi ante again it require uh, to prepare food materials to prepare again glucose or starch it require ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate so for the formation of ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate it require regeneration phase let us discuss about that regeneration right here the fifth place glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate combines with one molecule of dihydroxy acetone phosphate one molecule of dihydroxy acetone phosphate to form fructose 1 6 bisphosphate fructose 1 6 bisphosphate right in the presence of the enzyme aldolase in the presence of the enzyme aldolase right here fifth glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is a three carbon compound here also three carbon compound fructose 1 6 bisphosphate six carbon compound right fructose 1 6 bisphosphate a six carbon compound right then fructose 1 6 bisphosphate undergoes dephosphorylation reaction it undergoes a dephosphorylation reaction on phosphate is removed from this substrate right this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphatase enzyme phosphatase phosphatase enzyme so fructose 1 6 bisphosphate it undergoes dephosphorylation reaction to form fructose 6 phosphate one inorganic one phosphate is removed in the form of inorganic phosphate right now the formed fructose 6 phosphate combines with one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate fructose 6 phosphate combines with one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to form two molecules right one is xylulose 5 phosphate and another one is erythrose 4 phosphate xylulose 4 5 phosphate and erythrose 4 phosphate here fructose 6 phosphate is a 6 carbon compound and here glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate a 3 carbon compound these two are combines to form xylulose 5 phosphate and erythrose 4 phosphate so 6 plus 3 9 here xylulose 5 phosphate is a 5 carbon compound erythrose 4 phosphate a 4 carbon compound so carbons are tally right so result of this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme transketolase transketolase right fructose 6 phosphate combines with one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to form one molecule of gelulose 5 phosphate and one molecule of erythrose 4 phosphate this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme transketolase transketolase right in the next step erythrose 4 phosphate this erythrose 4 phosphate combines with one molecule of dihydroxy acetone phosphate which is a three carbon compound right erythrose 4 phosphate combines with dihydroxy acetone phosphate to form pseudoheptulose 1 7 bisphosphate it is a 7 carbon compound pseudoheptulose 1 7 bisphosphate 
ఎరిత్రో ఫోర్ ఫాస్ఫేట్ డిహెచ్ఏపి రెండు కలుస్తున్నాయి కలిసి సెడహెప్లో వన్ సెవెన్ బిస్ ఫాస్ఫేట్ ఫామ్ అయింది ఇక్కడ ఇది ఫోర్ కార్బన్ కాంపౌండ్ త్రీ కార్బన్ కాంపౌండ్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ సెవెన్ కార్బన్ కాంపౌండ్ ఫోర్ ప్లస్ త్రీ సెవెన్ సెవెన్ కార్బన్ కాంపౌండ్ ఈస్ ఫామ్డ్ రైట్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ స్టెప్ సెడహెప్లోజ్ వన్ సెవెన్ బిస్ ఫాస్ఫేట్ అండర్ గోస్ డీ పాస్పరలేషన్ ఇట్ అండర్ గోస్ డీ పాస్పరలేషన్ వన్ ఫాస్ఫేట్ ఈజ్ రిమూవ్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ సబ్స్టబ్రేట్ సబ్స్టేట్ టు ఫామ్ సెడహెప్లోజ్ సెవెన్ ఫాస్ఫేట్ సెడహెప్లోజ్ సెవెన్ ఫాస్ఫేట్ ద ఎంజైమ్ ఈజ్ ఫాస్ఫటైజ్ so the now now sedahaploz 7 phosphate is present here this 7 sedahaploz 7 phosphate s7p and rational simple ga endukante pedda ga avutundani sedahaploz 7 phosphate combines with one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate first g3p glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate sedahaploz 7 phosphate these two are combines to form one molecule of xylulose 5 phosphate and one molecule of ribose 5 phosphate ribose 5 phosphate xylulose 5 phosphate so ss7p sedaplo 7 phosphate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate rendu kalisinai kalise emaindi gelulose 5 phosphate ribose 5 phosphate ga form ayinayi this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme transketolase catalyze right transketolase the enzyme is transketolase aithe ikkada gelulose 5 phosphate undi ikkada oka gelulose 5 phosphates undi right in the next step ribose 5 phosphate convert into ribulose 5 phosphate ribose 5 phosphate convert into ribulose 5 phosphate these two are isomers so the reaction is isomerization ribose 5 phosphate undergoes isomerization reaction to form ribulose 5 phosphate this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme ribose 5 phosphate isomerase ribose 5 phosphate isomerase right so result of this one ribulose 5 phosphate is formed right here that ikkada two unnai gelulose 5 phosphate one ikkada another gelulose 5 phosphate is present so two gelulose 5 phosphates are present these two five gelulose 5 phosphates right convert into two molecules of ribose 5 phosphate so okaka daan nunchi oka ribulose 5 phosphate so two gelulose 5 phosphates unnai two ribulose 5 phosphates are formed so here the enzyme is epimerase in the presence of epimerase enzyme two molecules of gelulose 5 phosphates convert into two molecules of ribulose 5 phosphate so totally ikkada nunchi two ribulose 5 phosphates ikkada nunchi oka ribulose 5 phosphate total three ribulose 5 phosphates are present three ribulose 5 phosphates are present right now these three ribulose 5 phosphates three molecules of ribulose 5 phosphates undergoes phosphorylation reaction to form three molecules of ribulose 15 bisphosphate right in this reaction it required three atp molecules 3 ATP molecules. So, by utilizing 3 ATP molecules, 3 molecules of ribulose 5 phosphate convert into 3 molecules of ribulose 1 5 bis phosphate. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme ribulose 5 phosphate kinase. Here is ATP and here is kinase. Right? So, ribulose 5 phosphate kinase. So, now again, these 3 molecules of ribulose 1 5 bis phosphate enzyme uh, substrate again combines with the carbon dioxide to form phosphoglyceric acid 3 phosphoglyceric acid and it is a continuous process it is a continuous process so when come uh, see the picture when 3 co2 molecules enter into krebs uh, this kelvin cycle 3 co2 molecules how many atps are utilized how many atps here 6 atps are utilized and here 3 ATPs are utilized. So 6 plus 3, 9. Here are 11 ATPs. Here are 2 ATPs are utilized. 6 ATP plus 3 ATP. So total 9 ATPs are utilized. Right? How many NADH2, NADPH2? Only 6 NADPH are used. 6 NADPH. Right? Here six nadph and nine atps are utilized when when 3 co2 enter into kelvin cycle i think i'm go glucose glucose is a six carbon compound it is a six carbon compound so that it require another uh, uh, one cycle so so when to formation of six co2 when six co2 molecules enter into the kelvin cycle how many atps are required 18 atp and 12 nadph 18 it requires 18 ATP so it means for the formation of glucose complete glucose it requires 6 uh, CO2 when you enter into the, this cycle it requires 18 ATP molecules and 12 NADPH 
it is required so it means one co2 when one co2 only one co2 when the one one cycle enter into the uh, one co2 enter into the kelvin cycle how many atps so it means three three atp three atps and two nadph three atps two nadh 2 so one co2 enter in abdu one cycle six co2 into six kelvin kelvin cycles three co2 into three kelvin cycles in artham so this is the result how many atps are formed so ekar hai mein glucose enter into cytoplasm so complete glucose ekar form hota hai into cytoplasm la form hota hai in the end dha bhi migrates towards cytoplasm to convert complete glucose complete glucose there it undergoes respiration process respiration process this is about kelvin cycle Thank you.